really get a better place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is to make a frame just like that. Uh, on There's a Card Thursday we'll be finishing off the card but I wanted to show you how to make the frame. So what you're going to need is you're going to need the stamp set hardwood. You're going to need um, some crumb cake and I've got it five and a half by four and a quarter crumb cake cardstock. For ink I'm going to use soft suede. You're going to need glue dots. Um, you're going to need some brads and I'm using the retired gold brads. Um, I am also going to be using the brayer and um, the paper piercing tool. And I am going to be using the um, stamping trimmer. So the first thing you want to do is we're just going to ink up the hardwood stamp. I love this stamp. And you want to make sure it is inked. The entire stamp is inked. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay as straight as possible. You're going to lay your... Um, crumb cake on top of that stamp. And then what I usually do is I put a piece of um, copy paper over it so I don't get ink on my brayer because then it'd be all over the back of everything and all over my hands. And I'm just going to brayer that to get it all nice and inked on the cardstock. Okay, and there you have it. And I don't know if you can see or not, but you can see the spaces. So this is like wood slats, and you can see the spaces. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamp and trimmer and we're going to line up those um, wood slats and we're going to cut them just like that and then oh, I should cut this one first huh? well I only need four so and I'm going to cut out this wood slat and I'm going to Cut out this wood slat. I'm going to cut out. And what you just do is see this little runner? You're just lining that up to there. There. And then one more. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm just running this up. And then what you want to do. Um, is you want two pieces three and three quarters. So you're going to cut down two of these pieces three and three quarters. So I got one and I got two. There. And then you want two pieces five inches. Okay, so you're just going to cut a half an inch off of this. Okay, now I've tried this a couple of ways and the way I'm fi finding that it stays better is you're going to put these together first of all 
um, just like this. These go like this, and um, the larger ones are parallel, and the smaller ones are parallel at the top. Well, you can just go through right now, and you can line them up and put your brads in at the corners if you want. But I have found that if you do that, what happens is your frame will move a little bit, a lot sometimes, and it's really hard to get it even on the card. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put maybe one or two glue dots and we're going to attach that to the top and then we're going to put another couple of glue dots and I try to remain out of the middle because I want to put my brad in the middle and um, it's just really hard so um, also um, note that it should be the two long ones and then the two short ones here I did it one time with the a long, a short, a short and a long and it didn't work <laughs> wonder why but again I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots on each of these and then I am going to attach those and attach it right there then I'm going to need four of the gold brads what I'm going to do is I am just going to punch through and I left my paper mat piercing mat over there if I have one around here and I'm just going to put the brads in here and you can use any brads you don't even have to use brads um, I just discovered something with my glue dots that um, we're going to do a tip and technique on it um, maybe later um, but how you can do faux brads with your glue dots. So if you don't have gold brads, since we're not selling gold brads anymore, you could do your own gold brads. Now you could color these also brown, but I like the gold on this. Pretty good. I haven't yet pierced my finger without my mat. Sometimes it's like, ah. You have a perfect wood frame. It looks like an old-time wood frame. Thanks for visiting Tips and Techniques Tuesday with Mary Stamping Happenings. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a play.